all righty little bugs take that love vitamin let's take a look what's trying to block you or your connection blockages come from people that are low grade low vibrational and they come in the form of distraction trying to keep up with you to know how to keep you from getting or achieving something all right let's see what they need to know about a blockage or a person blocking them or what is blocking them in their relationship this connection uh-uh see here i can end this right here it's somebody that's crazy crazy somebody here it's their mind they got a bad spirit in them and this is a person they know that you have a vision of life and living and a vision of love you have a schizophrenia that is opposing in your connection in your love life these kind of people need help they need medication they need they need to be institutionalized see here how that's not coming together this person don't want your love life to come together that's what this is sharing now some of you all this is a third party situation now either you or the schizophrenic you the crazy person that your person has or they have somebody else that's crazy that's that's just simply crazy and they want they want y'all to share this is a person that rather share than give somebody up what else do they need to know dang yep the rebel there's rebellious energy rebellious and comparison now the comparison card came up so it's like somebody here has compared you to it could be a person they used to deal with or for some of you all person think that you may have some sort of mental issue mental disability or something like that <clears throat> now i'm trying to choose my words carefully so i don't offend people but there's a mental handicapness on a person's mind a spiritual handicap now okay and it's intense it them they whoever whatever somebody here is somebody here is psycho now either it, if it ain't you or your person it's somebody else that they dealing with the two of pentacles, the yep, the seven of cups, the six of wands. Somebody does a lot to keep confusion. A schizophrenic does not have boundaries and they don't have the mental capacity to understand balance in their life. The king of cups. Somebody here keeps up a lot of mess to keep you confused, to keep you on the outs of being with a person that wants to be with you. And this is a person that's willing to share them with you, but they don't want you to have them. Now let's see why they, why the comparison card came up inverted. The eight of pentacles, cause somebody here, ooh, okay, something is simple. One of you all may truly put in a lot of effort to, to, to love a person. And somebody here is accustomed to one-sided relationships, period, point blank. And the person that's accustomed to having a one-sided relationship, <clears throat> that 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 schizophrenia that they are uh, um that they have, that's why they, they don't put they, they, they just they, they can't do it. They can't do it, they won't do it. And this for some of y'all, there is a man with a big pen, penis. Either he's crazy or the other person that's attached to him is crazy. But Lord have mercy. It's confusing, but not confusing. Whoever this is, y'all have a lot of mess. And somebody here is just too crazy. And they could also, there could be a difference in your person comparing you to the other individual. One of you all may have a love for life, going after something, being something, going to work, you know, evolving, <clears throat> putting in the work. The schizophrenia does not. You don't compare to this person. Unless you start spazzing out of something like that. There's a big difference. And see here, somebody here is just simply trying to make you miss the opportunity. Let me look at this schizophrenia here. This could also be somebody here that has a habit. Sometimes it's um people with these bad habits. You know, drug habits, alcohol habits, or something like that. You know what's on a schizophrenic person. Yep, the 10 of wands, y'all. 
That's where the problems come in. And this person is having a hard time. They could deal with depression. This could Somebody here could be responsible for this person. And that's why they got to take care of this person. It's like somebody here is obligated or over obligated. And I'm not being funny. I heard the term mistress. Does somebody have a crazy mistress? Oh, God. What the hell is this? Yep. See, somebody here won't let this person go. And they, they have a bad attitude, y'all. But they're, they, it's like somebody here has truly started doing life with a, with a cycle. Now, they got they got this person is in their life. They can't let go of that person. Or you know how a person is like, like has a fatal attraction. It's like telling a person no is not enough. The ten of cups, the six of cups, the three of wands. They try to keep distance and space in between this person, but they won't take no for an answer. Somebody here is truly cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. That's what they're giving me back here. They cuckoo. Now, what I was going to say in the beginning, and I'm going to say this, and I hope that y'all have the right maturity to receive this message. If not, go study it. Somebody has a spiritual mental retardation. It's something wrong with their mind. And your person has laid down with, a, with this individual, and that person is crazy as hell, crazy as a bat. And that's someone here that refuses to let somebody go to be with you or anybody else. See here, it's their mind. <clears throat> it's their mindset, but they are a bully. So someone here has an antagonizing spirit. Like, I'm never going to let you go. We're never going to separate. We're never breaking up. Either you with me or we together. Somebody here is crazy. They're delusional also. And they will not let go of your person. Some of you all need to be not afraid, mindful, but just keep yourself aware because a person here does not, they don't want to see you with this person. They don't want... Why do you want to let this person go, though? Why? This is the blockage in your life. Somebody here has a schizo, a true live schizophrenic as a partner, a companion, or if they had children with this person, my God, you know they're crazy as hell. God, somebody got a true problem. This is going to be a problem, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. And see here, you and this person may love each other, but it's too much confusion that comes from this crazy person. And this crazy person, somebody had, somebody, I keep seeing that movie, Fatal Attraction. I think that man was Michael Douglas. There's a fatal attraction. And when he tried to break up the affair from the affair with that person, then that person started cutting themselves. So somebody here could do things to themselves and somebody here is afraid they'll do something to, something to themselves and they, you know, somebody here is afraid somebody will hurt themselves. If they have a child or children, they could be afraid that the person will hurt the child or children. So it's like they're trying to wean a person off of them, wean themselves away from this person, but it's hard because somebody here may be, somebody here is like a stalker, a stalker, an obsessor. They'll lie. They, they, this is more than exaggerating. They'll lie. They, they, they will fabricate something to make a, somebody here has got a, they got hell on their hands. <clears throat> Give me something from this princess of swords. They got pure hell on their hands. Somebody here truly slept the wrong person. Yep. So this person here will lie to hold them back. Everything, they, any lie they can think of that'll keep them there. And this is somebody here, they must, they can lie and mess up their job, mess up their career, mess up their life. See this king of wands, I told you, somebody here has gotten sexually involved with somebody here. It's their mental. They're not, they're not mentally stable. And so it's a, it's about, it's about a man. And child, I'm itching so bad back here all of a sudden. This is a man. Either the man is crazy as hell. I just saw 911. Or this dog on um, other person that they're dealing with is crazy. And they're not sleeping with the person. But the person is obsessed with them. Why are you so obsessed with me? This person, that other person is obsessed with them. Y'all got a problem. Because right, this, this ain't going to be no easy task. Especially those of you all that have a child or children. And this, this is somebody here... It's like they're like they have to deal with this person, and this person right here gets very rebellious, gets very angry, hostile. They do things, damage. They damage things. They have fits. Ten, thank you. Temper tantrums. Child, great or no? Who in the 
Hell, it don't mean this. This is a true cycle. Intuition and downloads. Some of you all, that's why you're under the spiritual tag. Whoever this is, 400, I'm telling you right now, the way my body, my whole face, my neck, everything is back here itching. Is somebody here they regret laying up, laying up this person here because they feel stuck with them because they're a cycle. You need to go study spiritual retardation because something is going on with a person spiritually or mentally but there's a there's a there's a very offness a strong offness with a person and some of you all that's why they keep that's why you keep being thrown off you do have a holy love with this person but they got a hell love with this other individual strength and guidance this person right here has gotten entangled very much so entangled they got a mess on the hand there's aquarius you got Aquarius, Libra, 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 and Scorpio. Libra came out three times, then Scorpio and Aquarius. So I'm going to do the dice twice just to give more of y'all confirmation. You have Leo, Taurus, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Peace and blessing, great day. Somebody got a psycho-ass person on the end of their life. Namaste.